Management Mavericks by Haley Hill, Adam Boggs, Lauren Siles, Caitlin Steakley, and Christy Thor. Our general idea focuses around the positive and negative effects in the workplace and finding solutions to help resolve conflicts at general insurance services. The concepts of our target in this storyline are whistleblowing, training, ethical decision making, and structure an organization in a centralized versus decentralized situation. Our target market is directed towards young professionals just entering into the workforce. We wish to portray the frustrations, the humor, and the day-to-day -day tasks that are common for new hires. Having Melinda begin her first day in our first episode, we will use her to portray the different characters' personalities and provide a good picture of the office dynamic. Throughout the episodes, each employee will deal with their own struggles and frustrations in the office. By the end of the show, the characters learn to adapt to each other's differing work styles and they use it to their benefit, maximizing on their strengths and minimizing their weaknesses. Melinda is a social butterfly. She's always away from her desk, causing conflict and making her coworkers upset, which is causing unintentional issues amongst them away from her desk longer than she realizes and the coworkers in turn must have must pick up her slack. Caitlin is the dedicated employee. She's always helping others. She stays on track and she keeps the workflow in the office going. She's a floor leader and she's always motivating her teammates. She goes above and beyond to get everything completed and her strong judgment and intuition skills eventually help her into a managerial position. Nikolai is the only male in the group. He's a jokester and he has a light-hearted spirit. He is committed to the organization, although he is slower to pick up the company's rubric. But even though he's a slow learner, his dedication helps him succeed in his position. Giselle is charismatic. She loves her job. She speaks her mind. She's known as the no-filter employee. Her bump personality has been instrumental to her success within the company. She works well under stressful situations. She's a hard worker, although she is bored with the company's outdated policies and procedures, which causes her to sometimes stir things up. Miranda is quiet and reserved. She's laid back but will take control when needed. Underestimated as some may take her kindness as weakness. She keeps to herself and she focuses on her work. She's close friends with Caitlin, and she's always helping others to the best of her ability. So why should people watch our show? Our characters are a portrayal of one of our team members' actual work environment, which has made the assignment fun and easy to relate to for our team members. The struggles, reactions, and behind-the-back gossip are all real-life scenarios that we've all been through uh, when entering a new job. Each character's attitude to addressing different situations is easily relatable to how people would react in that circumstance. And having to adapt to a company's policies and procedures can inhibit the overall successfulness of the task, and we address the struggle that many employees are faced with in today's evolving work environment. In episode one, we will introduce the characters working in the insurance company. Since it's Melinda's first day of work at General Insurance Services, we will portray each character's personalities by interacting with her. We'll portray the centralized organizational structure that General Insurance Services uses and make mention of the team's frustrations with the outdated policies as a setup for the rest of the show. So will the team at General Insurance Services be able to compete in today's market with their outdated policies and procedures, or will they be forced to ask for a change higher up in management to allow them to make more decisions on their own? Several weeks have passed in Episode 2, and Melinda is getting a little too comfortable with the group because her perception of the relationship she has with them is on a friendship basis rather than being a helpful and effective coworker. 
She takes her duties lightly, and this in turn causes the other team members to finish her tasks for her, causing the office productivity level to go down. On one specific occasion, the group becomes very frustrated with her departure for a break during their peak hours of calls, and they quickly become backed up and realize Melinda is gone longer than the 10-minute break each employee is allowed. So will the classical decision-making model be a beneficial tactic to helping the team execute a better way to accommodate their breaks? Episode 3. Melinda continues to disappear several times throughout the day, and the other team members start to chatter when she is gone about how lazy and irresponsible she is, which causes unnecessary tension within the office. When Melinda is sitting at her desk, she's often seen on her personal cell phone. Melinda comes back after one of her long breaks and says she needs to leave early. She takes a sick day the following day as well. The supervisor addresses Caitlin to handle Melinda's work in the meantime. Later that day, Nikolai sees a Facebook post from Melinda at Bush Gardens on a roller coaster taking a selfie. What will the team's perception be of Melinda after seeing pictures of her at Bush Gardens on Facebook when she left early and missed a day of work because she was supposedly sick. Episode 4. The next day, Caitlin confides in Miranda on what had happened. She seeks her advice on what she should do, and they both decide to whistleblow. She approaches the situation by speaking with her supervisor. Once Bob hears what is happening with the team having to do extra work to compensate Melinda's absences and understands the productivity level is going down, he sees Caitlin's potential as a leader in the office, and he offers her a promotion to a supervisory position. Will the circumstances of the previous events finally give their team the opportunity to have a more decentralized organizational structure that provides Caitlin with the flexibility to lead her team to different opportunities for success? Episode 5. Caitlin is now the supervisory position at General Insurance Services. The day starts off slow with the calls, and Caitlin is restructuring the platform for her department to get things flowing more smoothly. As the day goes by, the call level begins to pick up, and she becomes a little stressed out because everyone starts to lose their composure. Melinda goes off disappearing. Nikolai and Giselle rant off about how Melinda is a slacker, which causes them to give poor service to the customers. And Miranda starts to tell them to get back to work, and Caitlin will deal with Melinda. How will Caitlin handle her new position in a leadership role? Will she be able to organize and implement a plan to direct her team, or will she stay put and let them be? Episode 6. Due to the disorganization that happened in the previous episode, the next business day when all the employees get in, Caitlin decides to ask everyone to write down a SWOT analysis for their strengths, their weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. She wants them to recognize their accomplishments, failures, future, and what can cause them not to succeed. Everyone wrote their SWOT analysis down, and they all had positive things to say about themselves, but one thing Caitlin saw they had in common was their weaknesses and threats. As a whole, they all stated they wish they could receive more training on the products to better assist the customers. Will this SWOT analysis help a team out by approaching the issue and fixing it? How will Caitlin provide assistance with getting more training for her team? Will she be faced with having to make an ethical decision? In episode 7, Caitlin goes up to HR to approach a situation about her team wanting more training on the company's products. HR advised that they have a company budget set aside for these types of concerns for all supervisors and she will need to fill out some paperwork that will take 24 hours or sooner to get an approval from the CFO. She fills out the paper and waits patiently. As lunchtime passes and everyone is getting ready to leave, she receives an email confirming the acceptance on getting the training her team seeks. The CFO hired an external client to come help her train her team for six weeks and gets a certificate of achievement. She ecstatically informs her team, and they all rave about how well she is doing at her new position in the company, already seeing improvements. Caitlin has provided training for her team to help benefit their skills and help the company by getting through the call level without hesitation. With a new promotion and restructure of the department, the company will gain a different strategy analysis template for other branches to model. With the commitment of the team members and management, will general insurance services be back on top of their major competitors? 
Management Mavericks group has been successful in handing in all of our design challenges and milestone assignments on time. This has taught us what forms of communication work best to successfully execute what needs to be done each week. We will be successful with our show because each team member brings something different to the input of the assignments, and this has allowed us to have a creative twist in our presenting style. We know what management concepts we're going to be using for each episode, and we have a clear outline of character descriptions, which makes it easy to create the script that we'll be using for that episode. We will be using some ideas from the design challenges for input in into our episodes, and we've also created a schedule outline for what needs to be done each week, assigning a team leader that is responsible for communicating, gathering everyone's input, and handing in each portion. And here's a look at our schedule from uh, the beginning of the semester through to the midterm and all the way up until our final exam when we hand in our portfolio.